one of the reasons we use it, but it also reduces this um, protein through the urine over 24 hours, <laughs> fibrotic. Then a herb that is not specifically known as a kidney herb, it's very well known as a liver herb, which is Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am naturopathic Dr. Fiona Chin, co-founder of the Kidney Disease Solution and head formulator at Kygenesis. And I am joined again today by the amazing Jessiana Seville. So I'm going to hand over to you, Jessiana, but let's just start with what is protein in the urine? Why? What is that? Why is that something that people might want to know about? Uh, it's a good question. Now, most of us don't think about our urine very much other than just hydration, right? How dark is it? Am I hydrated or dehydrated? Yeah. Until you get kidney disease and then suddenly your urine becomes very indicative of either how your kidney disease is going or what's changing or whatever. People are like, my urine is bubbly. My urine is different and I'm getting urine tests. And what do those mean? Protein urea or protein in the urine is a really incredibly important marker if you have kidney disease to pay attention to. The reason why it is, and it's just protein in your urine. So our kidneys are this beautiful filter. They are an amazing filter in our body. But when one of the things that they hold on to and that they help balance the um that they can help balance is protein levels. And mm. so when our kidneys start becoming inflamed, and I wish I had a good diagram to show you this, but some of the protein that is in the bloodstream, it starts uh kind of leaking out of the of the uh, the kidney structures into the urine. And so people then will have protein in their urine, which is a very bad sign. If you have protein in your urine, you definitely have some active inflammation going on in the kidneys and you're causing inflammation too, because protein in the urine will cause that as well as be a sign of it. Uh, so there's, well, there's four herbs, three that are in our kidney prime for this exact reason. So astragalus or astragalus, as we call it in Australia, but astragalus is, I think, is how you pronounce it in the US. So Chinese herb is um, really well known for reducing protein clearance in the urine over 24 hours. Romania, another mm -hmm. Chinese adaptogenic kidney herb. Again, it's one of our main ones in kidney prime, does the same thing. So it um, has been shown to... Uh, reduce creatinine, improve EGFR. It's antifibrotic, which is one of, one of the reasons we use it, but it also reduces this um, protein through the urine over 24 hours. And cordyceps, which is the fungus mushroom that grows up in the Himalaya, same thing, reduces protein in the urine as antifibrotic. Then a herb that is not specifically known as a kidney herb, it's very well known as a liver herb, which is psilomarin, um, milk thistle or St. Mary's thistle, as we call it in yeah. Australia. That's mm -hmm. also been going to reduce protein in the urine. So those four herbs are really quite good for that. I think I read somewhere else that Shizandra might do it a little bit as well. And Shizandra works on the liver as well. It is in our kidney prime. It's adaptogenic. Um, and I have a feeling um, I'd have to go pull up the research, but I think we put in the kidney prime because it also was able to reduce protein in the urine as well. So yeah, there's some amazing herbs that absolutely will reduce that you know, the science behind it, we think it's probably the antioxidant effects, probably that it's protecting all of those, the three main herbs that we use, which is the Romania, the Astragalus and the Cordyceps are antifibrotic. So, which is why we love them. So they, they're they stopping the, the toughness in the tissue basically and, and making it a bit more spongy for once of a better word. And so if you get the kidney um, tissue functioning better, it would make sense then that you're going to have a reduced protein in the urine clearance because the, the actual structure of the kidneys has improved. And so how you spoke to it about it earlier, and those herbs are anti-inflammatory as well, but that's why they'd work that way. So if you want to know more about what we do, head to www.kidneycoach.com. Uh, same on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, or all over those platforms. And make sure that you hit subscribe. That way you'll get notified anytime we put up new content. All right, everybody. Thanks for being part of our community. Thanks again, Jessiana. Okay. I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, bye.